Fentanyl crisis reaching high school students. At least seven overdoses in the last month, including a 15-year-old girl who died. Now, top L.A. school officials are about to lay out their plan of action. Susan Hirasuna is live at the Miguel Contreras Learning Center in the Westlake District to start things off for us tonight. Susan. Yeah, that is supposed to start at about 4 o'clock this afternoon, and then afterward, there is a 5.30 planned town hall on the fentanyl crisis. Now, we expect to see the LAUSD superintendent, one of the board members, and the medical director to lay out what they plan on doing as there is this growing concern about fentanyl use in our schools. Now, take a look at what Bernstein High School looks like today, and you'll see this small memorial laid out for Melanie Ramos, who died last week. Now, now there is a word of a seventh student that overdosed dosed on Saturday. That's just a few days after Melanie Ramos died. So when I talked to the DEA special agent in charge, he said that just makes him cringe that the death of a fellow student wasn't enough to keep the student from trying that illegal pill. According to one source, the child, the student, took a quarter of the pill, and then his mom found him unconscious conscious in his bedroom. Perhaps he did it to test the pill before taking the whole thing. Here was Bill Bodner's reaction. The way these pills are constructed, the dosing is so inconsistent, and there's what I would call hot spots within the pill. It could be that all the fentanyl that was in that pill was in that quarter of the pill that, that the student took. We just don't know. And again, these are not pills that are made in a pristine laboratory environment like in the United States by pharmaceutical companies. They're made in clandestine labs in Mexico. He also pointed out that there was no other pharmaceutical in the pills that were confiscated recently other than the fentanyl. So students are buying what they think might be Xanax or Percocet. It might look like that, but in fact, it's just fentanyl. In fact, he told me he doesn't even like it when we say things like a pill laced with fentanyl. It's just fentanyl and whatever they bind it with. Meantime, the DEA launched their One Pill Can Kill campaign. That suggests that this is a problem everywhere, not just for LAUSD high schools, but clearly after what happened last week and on Saturday, the district is very, very concerned. Reporting live in the Westlake District, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.